Hey everyone, it's Drew from Monkey's Tropicals Adventures here to do another fragrance review on What smells good to me? What are we going to talk about today? Persons of interest, what are you doing? You're killing me. You're killing me. You keep making these bangers. This is a soon to be released uh, new fragrance by Persons of Interest, which is a new fragrance line. This is Sex and Cigarettes. Beautiful, sexy bottle. Holy monkeys. If you saw my other review on a Havana Conference, uh, you knew that that was just a banger. I absolutely loved it. The tobacco notes, it was a sexy, sexy fragrance. Well, guess what? We got another sexy fragrance. Um, I sprayed this, I got this today, and it's, I'm going on five hours now, and I just sprayed just a little spritz, and it's still really going strong. And uh, the name, <laughs> what the name implies, sex and cigarettes, uh, it doesn't smell like sex, but um, someone's getting pregnant if you're wearing this. It's it's the sexiest <laughs> fragrance. Again, another sexy fragrance from uh, persons of interest. Uh, so what's in it? Uh, bergamot, lime, tobacco, coriander, vanilla, and cedar wood. And um, so the the tobacco is kind of like I kind of get the mix of like clove and kind of a pipe tobacco. And then the coriander is really light and it, it mixes with that, the cedar notes. And I get a hint of the bergamot and lime and the vanilla is, is a big player in this one. And I, I get boozy notes, even though there's no, you know, booze notes in there, but it's just, and it's, it's different um, than the Havana conference. And so what I picture, I've got like this whole thing going on in my head when, when I think of this fragrance. So this is kind of what I picture. I picture swanky, like a swanky lounge and where everyone's sipping like an old fashioned or a whiskey and a highball, um, vodka rocks type thing. You've got, again, when I picture these lounges and these sexy fragrances, I picture like dark wood paneling crushed red velvet chairs. Um, you got like gothic chandeliers. It's real dark in there. Um, you're probably wearing like a nice crushed velvet dinner jacket and uh, everyone looks sexy. And people are probably getting lucky that night. That, that's just, this is how I picture, just like a big sexy vibe going on. Um, maybe I don't know, you got smooth jazz going on, you got blues going on, uh, but everything is just, class sexy it's just dripping and oozing and that's what i get from this fragrance is just you smell it and you're like hot damn this is this is some good shit and and that's really what i get from it so i would say it's something that you're you're going to cocktail hour you want to be noticed um wear this fragrance for sure and I could see, I, I would think it'd be sexy as hell for a female to wear it. So it, it's, for me, I could see it being unisex because it's not overly masculine and it's not overly feminine. So it, it kind of sits there right in the middle. And because of those notes where it's not overly bold and strong, but it's, it's definitely something that will, uh, when I say it will get you noticed, but it's not bold. It's just, there's something about it. It's just like, I don't know if you remember in those cartoons where you would see like smell and it would be making fingers and kind of grabbing people. That's kind of how I see the essence of this fragrance is it's grabbing you, it's pulling you in. You're like, what the fuck is that, man? It smells good and you want to get closer. Hence the name, Sex and Cigarettes. So what, and that's the other thing is like when you use a name like cigarettes, I don't know about you, I, I smoked very rarely back in the day, but I, I really liked cigars. So that was my type of smoking, but this does not smell like cigarettes. So if you're thinking the name implies like cigarette smoke, it's not like that kind of, it's, it's a sexy smoke vibe. 
Um, and I think that's because of the, the tobacco note of uh, kind of like pipe, um, clove type, you know, notes. Uh, it smells super, super good. So man, persons of interest, what are you doing? You're making these sexy fragrances. And uh, I'm telling you, when this launches, as far as I know right now, this is not launched. When it does, I will definitely put where you can buy it, but this is a persons of interest fragrance. And uh, they're crushing it. They're absolutely crushing it. Havana Conference definitely has my number in my top three tobacco fragrances. And this is something definitely you need in your arsenal for one of those fragrances that's gonna get you noticed. So this is Sex and Cigarettes. Again, bergamot, lime, tobacco, coriander, vanilla, and cedarwood. Someone's getting pregnant. No, nobody's getting pregnant. Again, persons of interest does not condone you getting pregnant, nor do they hold responsibility for you getting pregnant. But they are responsible for making a sexy ass fragrance right here. So with that being said, I will leave um, links on how to locate this fragrance once it launches. If you follow me over on Instagram at Monkeys Tropicals Adventures, there's a little thing at the end of this video. Uh, I will be doing a decant giveaway of uh, some of this, uh, Sex and Cigarettes, along with Havana Conference. Please give Persons of Interest a follow over on Instagram so you can watch all their fragrances that we'll be dropping, because there's a couple of them. And um, I've got my nose on a couple other little decants that they're doing over there, and they're crushing it. They really are crushing it. And um, I, I, don't, I don't pimp or push things that I don't like. And uh, I will be touting this bad boy till the bottle's gone and I'll be getting another one for sure. So please head over to Persons of Interest. Leave your comments below. Like and subscribe. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope nobody got pregnant watching this video. Sex and Cigarettes by Persons of Interest. Thanks for watching.